Thanks for inviting us in tonight. You know, we could be just days away from having a third COVID-19 vaccine available to Americans. So for tonight's big story, we want to look into the effectiveness of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine candidate. Our Verify team discovers tonight why it only requires one dose. But we want to start tonight with this big advantage this version of the vaccine could give the United States in this fight against COVID-19. A third COVID-19 vaccine could be in the mix as early as this weekend. We will waste no time getting this life-saving vaccine into the arms of Americans. And things look promising for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. An FDA advisory panel will meet Friday to vote on emergency use authorization. The FDA saying the vaccine is 66% effective. It would be the first single dose shot in the U.S. This is welcoming news for state health officials who want to expand vaccine eligibility but lack the doses. We could begin receiving vaccine um, and seeing it arrive in our states very soon, potentially next week. The study also found that 28 days after the shot, there were no hospitalizations or deaths. Which is exactly what we want to see. It can also increase access, with people not having to come back for a second dose. And it doesn't have to be kept in ultra cold storage, making it easier to have mobile clinics pop up in neighborhoods. But some worry that Johnson & Johnson is not as effective compared to its counterparts, since Pfizer and Moderna vaccines saw more than 90% effectiveness. The health officials say that should not sway people from signing up. Remember that the annual flu vaccine is about 40 to 60% effective each year. The White House says three to four million doses are ready to ship next week, with plans to deliver 20 million by the end of March. Now, we've seen some places report the Johnson & Johnson vaccine candidate is 66% effective. Others report it's actually 72%. So we want to clear up that confusion. That 66% efficacy rate is from moderate to severe COVID cases across all geographic areas. The 72% rate is specific to the United States. The difference comes from the various strains of the coronavirus, like in Brazil and South Africa, that may, may be more resistant to the vaccine. The fact that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is one dose instead of two really could be a game changer. And that's led to a lot of people asking, what makes this vaccine so different? Tonight, our Verify team has answers. The Verify team exists to bring you all the facts you need to know about the coronavirus vaccines. Within days, the FDA is expected to approve Johnson & Johnson's COVID vaccine for emergency use. And if approved, it would be the first single dose vaccine on the market. So why does the Johnson & Johnson vaccine only use one dose? And is the company working on a double dose? Let's verify. Our sources are Janssen Pharmaceutical Companies and its parent company, which is Johnson & Johnson. A spokesperson for Johnson & Johnson sent us this infographic, which shows that they are currently studying both one dose and two dose vaccines, but they got the results for the one dose trial first. According to this January 29th press release, the single dose vaccine was 66% effective overall at preventing moderate to severe COVID-19. In trials in the US, results were even better, 72% effective. And Johnson & Johnson has said that these numbers show that one dose of their vaccine is effective enough and will no doubt be easier to get out to people across the country. Dr. Mathai Mammon, the global head of Janssen Research and Development, told us in a statement, quote, changing the trajectory of the pandemic will require mass vaccination to create herd immunity and a single dose regimen with a fast onset of protection and ease of delivery and storage provides a potential solution to reaching as many people as possible. So we can verify that Johnson & Johnson put out the single dose vaccine because the company felt comfortable with the efficacy, although it continues to study a two dose option. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov, 13 News. As we wrap up tonight's big story, we wanna share some of the other big takeaways that we learned today from state leaders at the COVID update. Vaccine clinics not following our state's guidelines are not getting any more first doses to distribute, but they'll still get enough to offer the second shot to people who already got the first round. This week, the state is planning to vaccinate 10,000 Hoosiers going through dialysis. After that, they'll start expanding to people with other high-risk health conditions like sickle cell, Down syndrome, and cancer. Our state is sending out 10 mobile EMS units to several rural counties to bring the COVID vaccine to people who cannot leave their homes. 
You can schedule an appointment by calling 211 or go to OurShot.in.gov. If you want to see a full breakdown of today's COVID update with state leaders, just go to WTHR.com or the WTHR News app. And once you're there, look for the coronavirus tab.